Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagabber Backpacking, and today I'm out here to talk with you guys about something that I'm actually pretty passionate about, something that I think many of you guys are looking for and are very interested in, and that is coffee. Specifically, coffee while out backpacking, while out on the trail. How do you come up with the best coffee? Now, anyone who has watched this channel for any length of time has seen me do and talk about instant coffees. And I've done some tests, some comparisons on a lot of different, probably about 20 different instants out there, and have come up with a couple that I think are head and shoulders above the rest. So I know a lot of people out there are, are set in the Folgers and the Starbucks Vias. Now let me tell you, there are much better options out there for instant. But a lot of people still don't really care for or want instant while they're out on the trail. And so this is going to be a series. It's going to be about eight videos where I compare some of the more popular methods of putting together a great cup of coffee while out on the trail. I'll give you the pros and cons of each one. Each video is going to be one of these different types of methods where we're gonna go through, I'm gonna show you how I have found to be the best way to brew a cup of coffee using this method. And I'm gonna talk about what beans I'm using, what grind I'm using, the length of time I'm exposing the water and the beans together, the grind together to extract the right amount of coffee for the cup that I like. Now, as always, results are gonna vary. You may like your, your, uh, your coffee a little bit differently than I do, and that's okay. So why don't we get right into this and talk about what we're going to be doing on this series. Let's go. Alright guys, so this video is just kind of the starting video where I'm going to lay out what it is we're going to be testing, what different units we're going to be trying out. And then we will get into each of the videos where we go through and we test each one of these. And we really brew the best cup of coffee we possibly can with each one. And then at the end, after we've done the video on each one of these different methods, we're going to do a video where we lay out a taste test and we compare all of them at the same time. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys know what I think, what my favorite cups of coffee out of these happen to be. So let's see what the different ones we're gonna be using are. So, I know a lot of people really like a French press, so we're going with the GSI French press. So this is uh, a model that's no longer offered. This is the Lexan, um, it's a 33 ounce. So this one's great for if you're doing group coffee. Um, so it's a French press, real simple. Cool thing is you can open this up and actually see what you're doing there and watch it all happen. So that's kind of cool. Next, a lot of people like mocha pots. So mocha pots are a little bit bulky, a little bit hard to deal with. In camp, in camp has uh, come up with this one, which I've been using now for about a week or so. Really have enjoyed the cup of coffee that this produces. It is a little bit stronger, but you can really play with the grind, you can play with the mix and get the cup of coffee that you really want and you can add water to it afterwards. All right, one that I'm not sure why I haven't used sooner is the AeroPress. A lot of people recommended this one and so I went ahead and picked it up. Actually, Chris Gherkin, a good friend of mine, sent this one to me and so uh, I've been testing this one out and I've gotta say I've been pretty impressed with it but I'll show you guys the results of that when we get to that video. This is a piece of gear that I've seen several reviews of online and I just, I had to pick it up and try it. I love espresso and this is the Wakako Nano Presso. Uh, replaces the Mini Presso. It's a little bit more refined version of that and it comes in this great carrying case so it's perfect to get out on the trail. Uh, one that you guys have seen me use before is the GSI Pour Over. This is the UL uh, Java pour over this thing uh, super lightweight super easy to use clips right onto your mug but we'll get into a review of that one swift cup coffee happens to be my favorite instant coffee a little bit on the more expensive side of instance 
but the cup of coffee that this produces is far superior to any instant I have tried. Now the last one is one that a lot of people have recommended, but I can't really put it up here because it's just coffee grounds in your cup of coffee, and that is cowboy coffee. So the last one we're gonna be trying is cowboy coffee. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna brew them all up. We're gonna take a look at them. We're gonna analyze each one. We're gonna talk about cost. We're gonna talk about weight. We're gonna talk about complexity. We're gonna talk about cleanup. We're gonna talk about the cup of coffee that it actually produces and really get down to what is the best method when you're out backpacking, when you're out on the trail. Maybe it's for car camping. So here's what I'll do. I will give you my assessment of each one, talk about it, when we get into the individual videos, we're actually gonna go through the details of each one, talk about each of these pieces of gear. I'm gonna show you guys how to brew the coffee. I'm gonna talk about the grind size that I use, how much coffee I'm using, how much water I'm using, and we're really gonna put it together so that you guys can mimic the cup of coffee that I produce and come up with the best things. Now, I've done a lot of research. I've gone online, I've watched a ton of videos. James Hoffman is a a world champion barista and I've used a lot of his videos to come up with the the ratios the coffee to water ratios the brew times that I'm using and so he's been an inspiration and one that I've really reached out to to uh, gather information so that I can make this the best series of videos that I possibly can if you guys have any comments any questions leave them down below I put out a poll on YouTube and there were over over 150 uh, people have replied to it both on YouTube and over on Facebook and it's been pretty unanimous that most backpackers are preferring to take an instant coffee but like I said most people are referring to Folgers and Starbucks and I honestly can't recommend either one of those they aren't very good coffees in my opinion if you're really looking for a good cup of coffee something like a specialty instant coffee is going to far exceed that but the cost is there so anyway we'll get into that but all of these methods are methods that people had said that they do or voted on during those and so that's what we're gonna be focusing on these are the most popular methods out there so let's see what they produce let's get into this let's, let's get this thing going um, so come back make sure you guys check in on all these if you aren't subscribed already go down and hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon that way you'll get notifications every time we do one of these videos or anytime I put out any video including trip videos a lot of the trip videos have embedded information where I'm brewing coffee or I'm showing some products or I'm talking about tips and techniques that I use out on the trail so make sure you don't miss those make sure that you are subscribed to the channel alright guys we'll get this thing going I will see you down the trail.